First of all, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and click on this arrow, then Install from Disk. Now look for the zip file you downloaded and install it. Make sure it's activated. You can save the preferences if you like. Now press N and here you will find the add-on. Click on Add Water Cube. In Render Properties and switch to Cycles Render. You can use CPU or GPU. I'm gonna lower the viewport samples to 64. Also activate the noise. Now in World Properties, we can add an HDR image in Environment Texture or we can use Sky Texture, it's up to you. Now I'm going to import a terrain. And if we delete the tower, the water looks like this. That's because the foam has nothing to interact with. So to fix this, select the water, go to modifiers, and we can turn off the foam. Just set to zero. But if you want an object to interact with the foam, you need to send that object to the foam collection. In this case, I'm gonna select the terrain, press M and send it to collection, foam. Now go back to modifiers and set to 1.5. In materials, we can change the form scale. Also increase the detail. And as you can see, the form needs geometry. So if you need more detail, you can select the area. Right click, subdivide, so we can add more geometry there for a better resolution in the foam. To animate the water, we can do it here. In fact, it's already animated, but if you want to change the animation speed, you can do it here. Just right click. Click on Edit Driver, the lower the amount, the faster the animation will be. Lastly, you can customize the water, and you can change the color, the transparency, absorption, 
emission, also caustic specificity, and so on.